I've been quite lucky, I think, that the last few years we've been on fixed tariff for our energy. That comes to an end this July, so it is kind of really forced me to make the decision now to, to think about solar and really help me kind of manage my energy costs. So we're here today to install 12 panels. We've got a 3.6 kilowatt inverter and a battery. Also, you've got an iBoost there to yeah. assist with your hot water. Solar panels work really quite simply. They work from the sunlight, which comes down onto the solar panels, and they collect the irradiance and the UV. That then gets converted to DC electricity. We then have to go through the process of turning that direct current into alternate current, which is done via an inverter. It can be stored in battery, which is a very popular option and most people go for now. And that battery can then be drawn down upon in the evenings when there's no sunlight and any excess can then be used in the property during the day. The best time to produce on a PV system, believe it or not, is around late spring and early autumn. So we're looking at nice bright days, September days are fantastic, good irradiance, but nice and cool. My kids are really excited about it because they, you know, they learn quite a lot of school about energy efficiency and things like that, so, so they're really excited we're getting solar. Um, but also just think, you know, the fact I'll be able to control it, I'll be able to see how I'm using it, and also from a cost perspective, it's going to be really good to be able to see the, the, kind of the savings we're making by having solar panels. So as you can see, it's um, been a month now since the solar panels have been up. We've had glorious sunshine since then, so it's been great to see how much power we've generated. And it's not only having an impact already on our bills, but on the environment too, and I can see all that through the app.